Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys on how you can make Platinum the quickest and easiest way possible in the game. So now, making Platinum is really, really easy. Now, if you're starting off the game, it's not going to be as easy, but if you're further on in the game, you probably know most of these methods, but something might, might, might be new, and it might help. So, starters... I just want to say is be really really patient now the reason why I say this is because if you're not patient you could probably either get a really low price on what you're selling or two you could get a really high price if you didn't sell earlier so if you if you for example to sell for the first person that offered you you're gonna get might you might get low you might get high okay but if you be patient and you have a price set, that's what one thing I know I do recommend is have a price set in mind for that, and always set that. So have a lowest price, that you, basically the price that you won't go under, and a price that basically your highest price. And also you want to start with your highest price, and then if they say no thank you, then go with your lowest price. For example, Octavia Prime. Now my highest is 200, but the lowest that I'll go is 170. Now the reason why is because I make a decent amount of profit from that. Now you always, now I buy and resell, so I make profit from basically buying and reselling. So making profit is really, really good, and I'm at the moment at 900 plat, not a lot, but again, I only started, like, got back into Warframe like Monday, basically nearly a week and already at 900 plat. And I haven't been trading like all day. If I trade all day, then I will probably be a lot more higher, but I have been streaming. Um, stream, my, the link to my Twitch is in the description down below. So if you want to come and check out, we do platinum giveaways and you also can get free platinum and Warframe sets. So I have a system in place where basically just watching and interacting with the stream, basically with me, you get points for the space just chilling in the stream and you can then redeem them points for Warframe sets, Platinum, Platinum giveaways, all that. And yeah, so basically just free Platinum because I love getting Platinum in the game and it's really, really easy for me. And just helping out other people is just, I just like helping out other people because I'm quite far into the game, so I don't really need the Platinum except for like uh, customization, fashion frame, all that. Well, again, I am a big fan of, but again, I can make my Platinum back easily. So yeah, if you do want to come and check out my Twitch, it's in the description down below. Stream Monday to Friday. So uh, yeah, I stream quite often. So for starters, like I said earlier, is being patient. Now, being patient is a really big key. I know I was on about it earlier, but again, just being patient is a really good thing to do. Now, I normally just watch like YouTube or just watch uh, TV shows like The Flash, Green Arrow, Lucifer, all that. I just watch TV shows while just basically just trading because I can just be sat here, right? I don't have to be looking at trade chat that much. Uh, I just glance over every now and then to have a look. And yeah, just don't really have to check because you'll get like a pop up and you can tell when something's there. So I just basically just watched something on my second monitor and uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Now, if you don't have two monitors, you can just watch stuff on your phone or just whatever have a laptop whatever you could just do that now if not just be in like a discord or if you're on xbox what you could do is go on spotify on xbox and just listen to a podcast now that's one thing that i do a lot uh, while playing and while also just trading uh, depending on how i feel i'll just listen to like a podcast uh, a podcast that i listen to is a misfits podcast it's a it's quite funny so um they are the things what I recommend is doing is being patient. Next is Warframe Market. Now, some of you guys might have heard that and some of you guys might not have. Now, with Warframe Market, do not, I recommend, do not go, like, basically price check your prices on Warframe Market. Now, the reason why is because people would have low prices on there. Uh, some might be uh, normal prices, but some people would have low prices just so they can get a, a quick quick amount of platinum. So they would have low prices on there. Now, if I just go on Warframe Market real quick, I would probably be able to see some stuff really, really nice. Now, unfortunately, you guys are not going to be able to see on the screen. But here, Banshee Prime set for 50 plat. That is a really, really good bargain because I've sold Banshee for 100 plat. And that's always what I've done is always sell what primed Warframes for never less than 100 plat. The reason why is because Prime Warframes are basically just really, really good in Warframe in general. They're, you're always going to be using Primes. So I just don't sell Warframes under 100 plat. Uh, so that's one thing I recommend is setting a price 
for everything. Just always set a price. Always set a price, no matter what. Uh, next thing that I recommend is if you're buying non-prime warframes, like just from the market, wait till you have a 50 or 75% off. They are the best times for you to get them because they're, they're just super cheap when it's that. And I see a lot of people using plat for one Russian stuff, what I highly don't recommend, unless you have like tons of platinum, like you like tens of thousands of platinum and you then you're rushing then sure whatever but if you didn't have that much plat i recommend don't rush in be patient like it's only like 22 hours just wait like a day it's not that it's not too bad uh, next it, like i said earlier don't buy warframes like just from this like 325 platinum just for lavos now this is what I highly just don't recommend is don't buy stuff from the normal market unless you have a 50-75% off. Now I've bought a couple of Warframes from here but only when I have a 50 or 75% off because one, I'm not farming Equinox, you can forget that, I'm not farming 8 parts and there's like some stuff that are really easy to farm, Harrow is quite easy, Avaro is quite easy, Core is quite easy, there's a lot of stuff that takes time to do so just watch like a guide or something on how to do it because you don't have to buy Warframes on here. Just, that's what I was recommended. You don't have to buy Warframes. And it's the same with weapons. Do not buy weapons from here because you can easily get them. Now, oh, like look, 240 Platinum for this for this weapon. For a weapon that is 240 Platinum. Now, yes, it does come with Weapon Slot and Oregon Catalyst. What is nice, what is nice when you buy it. But just don't, just don't. Please don't. Don't buy uh, weapons. For example, the Aphiorus. This is a really good one to do. It's basically just like a trap for newer players. These pistols are not good, but sell for 225 platinum. You can buy them for 225 platinum, but you can literally buy the blueprint for 15,000 credits, right? And then you just all you have to do is build two Furious. All you have to do is just build two of them, and then you can just build it. Like it's it's not hard. Please just don't buy weapons or buy stuff from the market unless you have a 50 or 75 percent 75% off Jesus that was so hard for me to say and next is just I know I've said this a lot but be patient please like it's just really really important also be a uh, buy your parts separately now if you're buying and reselling for example like I am what can get you a lot of platinum and not much effort and like I said earlier, I just watch basically just like TV programs, YouTube, all that. Just basically while I'm trading, is buying parts separately can get you a lot of plat. Obviously, it uses more trades, but it can get you a lot of platinum. So I bought Octavia Prime Blueprint for 40 platinum. Now again, I had to be patient because a lot of people were selling them for about 80 platinum, 90 platinum, 100 platinum, 70 platinum, all that. So I had to be patient to get that at 40 plat. Now I bought. Octavia Prime Blueprint for 40 Platinum multiple times, so it's not like impossible. So, yeah, just but basically buy parts separately. I bought the Octavia Prime Neuroptics for 5 Platinum on Warframe Market, what I definitely recommend buying stuff, but don't sell stuff. Unless, if you're selling stuff, I recommend selling stuff for the price you're actually going to sell it at. Don't sell it cheap on there, only sell it at the price you're actually going to put it at, or sell it actually in game. Don't do it cheap, please, just don't do it cheap. Because it's just going to be a waste of platinum for you. So yeah, basically buying parts separately can give you profit. So for example, I've bought Octavia Systems and Chassis for 20 each. That's 40 platinum. I bought Octavia Prime Neuroptics for 5 platinum. And then that is that is 45 platinum. Yeah, that's 45 platinum. And then I bought Octavia Prime Blueprint for another 40 platinum. That's 85 plat right there I just bought Octavia Prime for. For just basically being patient and waiting for good prices and buying the parts separately 85 platinum guys 85 platinum for a whole octavia set what i'm then going to sell for like 180 200 so that's like a 100 plat profit right there two boosters and an oracle catalyst so yeah being patient buying parts separately is really good using your plat wisely by not just rushing stuff spending it on the warframe market and uh yeah being patient also again this that's basically the last tip but uh yeah if you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I know I said this earlier, but go check out my Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday if you do want to get that free platinum. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, 
make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel be very much appreciated and uh yeah see you guys later peace out